Who do you favor to move on to round two? I'm still sticking with the Suns. I still feel like the Suns are right there as one of my favorites to come out of the West and go to the finals this year just because, I mean, you saw that last game, Durant and Book, they're just, they're just such a potent duo, and they complement each other so well. Uh, it's just really tough for anybody to figure out a good – defensive scheme for those guys because once you send two bodies to sit and stop one of those guys and the other one standing on the other side of the court and they're going to be able to make plays and it's tough and I and I think the big development for them in that last game as well as Chris Paul just being a little bit more aggressive I think mm-hmm. they just need that just because I mean their bench is giving them zero <laughs> they're basically oh, a, a four-man team at this point I, I was like yeah. look they're they're shallow but they're not that shallow like, no they're that shallow man <laughs> oh, they, yeah, they are. It's <laughs> bad. Really shallow. it is bad so you need Chris Paul to score just because nobody else is coming out there to score points. So you, you need Chris Paul to continue to be aggressive. You need DeAndre Aiden to like take a shot at the rim every now and then, uh, not mm-hmm. just take jumpers the whole game. But I think with KD and Book, uh, they've got enough. And the crazy thing through these first two games is Russell Westbrook has been unbelievable. He's been incredible. And I just don't know if he's going to be able to keep that up. And, and without that additional Westbrook scoring, uh, I think the question is where is that scoring coming from? for the clips just to support Kawhi uh, because it doesn't look like Paul George is coming back. So, yeah, I still got the Suns. Yeah, Jay, I I think the concerning thing for me for the Clippers was in the second half, Monty Williams was like, okay, I guess I'll double Kawhi Leonard. And one, I didn't think his vision was very good when they did it. Like, he kind of got tunnel vision a little bit, especially in the fourth quarter. And two, like, just who's there to step up? Eric Gordon? I mean, Russ a little bit. is Like, Russ did play well. Will's right. Like, Russ has played well, but... I just don't know who's there to help Kawhi. And that's the thing, like, and I've said this all season because they're like a super deep team, right? Yeah. They have a ton of players who are worthy of being in rotation. Phoenix could use every single player on, yeah. on their <laughs> they roster. Really could. Like, <laughs> like any anybody on the Clippers roster would be at least the fifth best player on this on the Oh, Suns. don't do Tory Craig like that. Come uh... on. Uh, no, I stand by that claim. I absolutely stand yeah. by that claim. Come on. <laughs> However, like who I don't know who their third best player or in this series their second best player is. I don't. Yeah. Uh, they have huge gaping shooting hole with Russell Westbrook. And all that stuff matters. If Paul George was in this series, it would be so fun. Yeah. Man. And it's it's devastating. He's not. Um I just don't think the Clippers have enough. I think at the end of the day, the, the Suns have more answers. But nothing from this series so far has made me rethink the Suns supporting cast. Like, I, I thought someone might step up. Uh, Tory Craig has. Tory Craig. Yeah, Tory Craig did, yeah. Sure. Other than that, they haven't found a single answer. They don't know what they're going to. I don't know why they signed Terrence Ross. Like, what <laughs> what happened <laughs> Like he's been awful. They they signed Terrence Ross because nobody has watched Magic games in a couple of years. Let's be honest. Right. I've been watching that's Magic it. games since Dwight. <laughs> oh, that's it. Man. Terrence Ross has not been super helpful for a while. I, yeah, I don't know why Damian Lee doesn't play. What does Damian Lee do wrong? That's guy, a good question. Yeah, he can at least shoot. He can hit threes. I, I think he's, he's pretty solid. solid. Yeah, he's a yeah, solid player. I I would pull the Damian Lee card and just see what happens with a little bit more shooting because. As well as Phoenix's offense played in game two, they generated 24 three pointers. That's so archaic. It's so weird. Yeah. It was and 19 partly, in game one. 19. It's partly right. because all those guys are amazing from mid range. Like they yeah. are the rare guys where mid range is actually a good shot for them. Yeah. But you need somebody to make threes and space the court and make things a little easier for those guys. And Damian Lee is sitting over there with whatever his three point percentage is. I know it's in the forties and yeah, legit. It's high. yeah. Um, you shout know, out to shout out to La Murray too, by the way, who wrote about how they killed him in the mid range because they like they were they they just operated all night in the mid range. Yeah, I mean they made ten threes and Tory Craig had five of them, so that's all you need to know about what's going on in Phoenix right now. Uh, but you know, I was twenty two and thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we used to keep talking about Xavier Tillman. Yo, that was a crazy game he had last night. But uh, no, nah, I, I was I was about to say something, and I just felt nasty before it even came out of my mouth. I was about to be oh. like, yo, they're missing campaign right now. Oh, they can wow. use him off the oh, bench. And wow. I was like, God, can, am I about to say they need campaign? Right? Is that what's going on? In they should have signed like, Reggie Jackson or somebody. Like, they, man, man, I'm telling you, they needed something to happen with that bench because – Josh Akogi. They should have signed Reggie and... Jackson. That's that's a low uh, spot. We haven't seen we haven't <laughs> seen campaign do something since he was in China. Like, what are you talking about? 